Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the equality of two complex numbers and how to solve for x and for y. In these examples we need to find the values of x and y that satisfy the following equations. So here's the thing. We have a real part and an imaginary part of these equations and the real part needs to equal the real part on either side and the imaginary part needs to equal the imaginary part of each side. Right, so in other words, notice that here we have 3x, which is our real part of the left, and then 7 is the real part of our right, and then the imaginary part of our left is 4i, and the real part is yi. So that means that 3x must be equal to 7, and also 4i must be equal to yi. So all we need to do to solve for x and y is solve these two equations. So for this first one, we can divide both sides by 3 and get that x is equal to 7 over 3. And then in, on the, the right side, right, we can, um, or sorry, for the uh, imaginary uh, parts, right, the complex parts, we can divide both sides by i and get that y is just equal to 4 here. And so it's as simple as that. All we need to do is use that equality in order to solve it. I'll give two more examples for anyone who would like a couple more examples on this topic. So in this case here, our real part of the left is 7x, our imaginary part is 5, or sorry, our real part of our right is 5, and then our imaginary part of the left is 3i, our imaginary part of the right is yi. So therefore, we know that 7x must be equal to 5, and also that 3i is yi. That means x must be 5 over 7, and that uh, y must be equal to 3. Then we're going to move on to number 3. For this one, we're going to do uh, 2x must equal to 10, and negative 7i must equal to yi. Therefore, y must be negative 7, and x must be 5. And so there you go. These can seem very complicated at first, but once you break it down into real and imaginary parts and, um, and equate the two, it becomes a lot more simple. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and we'll see you for the next one.